everybody welcome back to my channel this is going to be Friday fragrance review and now this is not just a fragrance review guys this is a monumental day um, what I mean by that is this is the last fragrance that I have in my entire collection that I have reviewed so after this fragrance review is done I won't have any more fragrances to review so I have to think of other videos to put up on my channel to keep you guys entertained um I'm not sure what I want to do. I, like I've said in previous videos, I do want to start putting up maybe some more car content, like maybe some of my upload some videos on my me, me sorry on my weekly um, car club meets on Wednesday nights. Maybe I'll upload some of that. See um, what you guys think about that. Show you guys some of the cool cars and stuff that are around my city. Um, maybe upload some of. Um, I don't know. Maybe some other kind of car club events that I go to. I'll upload, um, if you guys want to know anything about my cars, I have a 99 Mitsubishi Eclipse. My husband has a 2022 Kia Stinger. Um, I have a 2016 Maserati Ghibli SQ4. Um, those are just some of the cars that we have that I could put videos up if you guys want to see them. I will be having my Eclipse out probably in September. I'm taking it to um, a dealership having some work done on it, and it will be out for the fall and winter. So if you guys want to see some videos on that, I can do that. If you guys want to see some videos on the other cars that I listed or just told you about, I can do that too. Just let me know what you guys want. Um, if there's any other possible perfume content you want to see. Um, I do have a um, subscriber that requested me to do a full Bath & Body Works um, collection updated video, which I probably will put up at some point, but it is a massive undertaking, so it probably will take me some time to put that up, but I will nonetheless put up a updated Bath & Body Works collection if you guys want to see that. Um, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up, whatever you guys think. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into the important part of this, the actual review. All right, so the last fragrance that I am going to be reviewing is a fragrance from Burberry. It is probably one of my favorite fragrances from Burberry. I have Burberry This and then I have Burberry Weekend. So this one, even over my Burberry Weekend, is probably my favorite Burberry that I have. This is my Burberry Blush. This is what the box looks like. You guys can see right here. It is the 3.3 ounce bottle. So it is the 90 milliliter. It is the biggest one that you can get. And I absolutely love this fragrance. I think the packaging is really pretty too. <clears throat> the baby pink and the gold, I think that's beautiful. It's all around the box, very cool. And then under it, it has like the things here where it says 36 months shelf life, but you know you can get more than 36 months out of a fragrance if you take care of them. All right, so now this is what the star of the show is going to look like. This is the Burberry blush. So if you guys can see that right here my Burberry and then very lightly you can see blush here, I'm trying to, there you go my Burberry blush and this is what I've used within a week as you guys can see <clears throat> I haven't used a whole lot of this I've actually really been hoarding this fragrance because I only have one bottle of it and yes surprise surprise I do plan on getting another bottle <laughs> because I love this just that much so I will be repurchasing this bottle pretty quickly here even before this is uh, anywhere close to being empty, I will repurchase this bottle because I absolutely love the fragrance. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to leave the fragrance right here. I'm going to show you guys, or tell you guys the notes that are in this fragrance. So if you guys are interested, you guys can head out, take a smell of it. If you have a uh, Dillard's or something close, if they still have it, you might want to smell it. This is absolutely beautiful though, guys. I love it. Okay, so the notes for the My Burberry Blush... Top notes are pomegranate and lemon. The heart notes are green apple, rose petals, and geranium. Why the base notes are wisteria and jasmine. So these, this fragrance is beautiful. It's very floral. If you don't like a fragrance that's floral, I would say stay away from this because it is very floral. But it's just floral in the most prettiest way. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. This is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, guys. Um, best seasons to wear. This is going to be better performing in the warmer months. So springtime, mm, I don't know if I would do it in the summertime, but it is summertime. Um, you could do it spring, summertime. I would probably wear this whenever the hell I feel like it. So it would either be fall, winter, spring, summer, whatever. Um, especially now I'm, since I'm done with the reviews of my fragrances. But this is definitely going to be better for the warmer months. So spring, summertime. Um, as far as the lasting hours for this, 
this is actually really good guys you can definitely get eight hours projection eight hours longevity out of this fragrance you will get it for eight hours but let me tell you the first up until six hours you will smell it pretty good on your skin but when it gets into the seventh and eighth hour it will become a little bit more softer a little bit more subtle but you will still smell it on your clothes and on your skin it's just not as potent from the first um, first hour to the sixth hour the seventh and eighth hour is going to be a little bit more softer more subtle um, but it's still there it's still gonna you'll still smell this definitely within eight hours it'll still be with you it's just gonna be a lot softer um, it is beautiful I really like it the um, projection on this is actually pretty nice this is anywhere from I want to say this is pretty moderate it's not headache inducing it's not cough inducing or anything like that it's a moderate longevity for fragrance it's really good like I said six hours you will smell it pretty good on your skin about when you get into the seventh and eighth hour it's gonna be a little bit more softer but you will still smell it. like if you're walking around and the scent catches back up to you you will still smell it so this still lasts about eight hours before you'd have to do and I leave this fragrance here at home I don't take it to work with me so I spray it before I go to work and that's it for the day so even through lunch and everything else you will still smell this fragrance it is really nice it's just that good of a performing fragrance um, and I've got a couple compliments on it this week too so if you're looking for something that's gonna give you compliments this is gonna be your girl right here she's really good for that um, best time to wear this fragrance in my opinion I think you could wear this fragrance daytime and evening time if you wanted to I I just think it's that good I would definitely rock this daytime and evening just for me um, as far as my conclusion for this fragrance um, for the packaging I love the box I like how the box sticks to what the theme is for the bottle so the packaging I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a 7 out of 10 because I do really like it a lot uh, the packaging for the bottle itself, it's going to get a 7 out of 10. It's its not basic, but it's not, you know, over the top. Um, the bottle itself has more of a, a pink glass, which is really nice. And the fluid in there, I think, also has a tinge of pink to it, too. And the little bow here is really cute. And then this is really heavy, this lid here, but that's pretty, too. I like that a lot, too. That's the lid on it. But I do really like how it looks. As far, like I said, this is going to get, did I say a six? A six for the box. As far as the perfume itself, I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of ten because I do really like the bottle. I think it's very pretty. It's not overpower. It's not like too much, which some bottles can be. I think this is beautiful enough and it still makes a statement. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful bottle. And you guys can tell it's pretty thick. I really like it a lot. So that's definitely an eight out of ten for this. But that is my review for my Burberry Blush by Burberry. And that ends my fragrance review for my entire collection, you guys. Like I said before, if you have any other, like, videos that I could possibly do, let me know. I always like the um, input from, from uh, subscribers on what you guys want to see. I do have a makeup collection, a massive makeup collection, but I'm not really sure if I want to put that up. Uh, you guys just let me know. Um, give me some ideas on what I could do. Um, that might keep you guys interested because I won't be doing any more fragrance reviews for quite some time. I might put up a monthly perfume tray, maybe a weekly perfume tray, show you guys what I'm using for a week, maybe what fragrances I've chose to use for a month. But again, I'm not really sure. You guys let me know what you want to see and I will do the best that I can to um, fulfill that for you guys. And as always, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!